is a video tutorial on how to make an ethernet cable and um, we're going to use cable testers just like these and you get it all on amazon website um, there's a link on my tampa tech channel youtube channel and my, the link is on the left side just click on my blog and these are the uh, connectors i get <clears throat> rj45 connectors for the cat5 ethernet cable okay so what you want to do here's i already made one side and you want to make sure that it's clamped onto the white sleeve and not um, interior wires. So let me go ahead and show you. We're going to cut out the wire right here. So this side cuts the wire and this side scores it. So let me uh, cut a brand new slice. So we're going to cut one right here. All right, so I just cut one. But sometimes when you clamp down too hard, it damages the interior wiring, like so. See how it cut that wire? So this is no good, actually, because of that, see? It broke the wire. So if you're getting, uh, the reason why you're getting um, bad connections and you can't make a good ethernet cable, that's probably why. So just cut that completely off and you want to score it just slightly to make sure it's flush on that side. You don't want to go too far. You want to keep it flush right to the edge. And then now, just slightly just like pressure on it. Don't squeeze down. And then twist. All right? The key is not to, da it's easily to damage these interior wires. They're so tiny and skinny. So now you want to separate all of them like that. So the main thing is the most people usually do is accidentally cut the interior wirings when they're trying to score the outside yeah, white sleeve. So once you uh, separate all of them like so, let's clear some of this out so you guys can see. You want to do orange. With, this is going to be with the tab side down. I'm telling you this. That's the tab. All right, so what you want to do is uh, you're going to organize the wires. And you can do orange, white, orange. And then green, white. Now, this is going to be blue, green, white, blue. Like that. And then blue, white, green. And then brown, white, brown. So all those wires are organized. Now what you want to do is put them all together and pinch them from the end bottom and then wiggle to straighten it out like that. Okay, sometimes that crap gets in the way and it pisses me off. It's really annoying. All right, so orange, double check your work because once you put it in, then you're screwed. You can't test it unless you clamp it down. You, I wish I could just test it with it just in, but you have to clamp it down to test the wire or else it's not gonna test right. Orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown. Usually the orange and the brown look close. They look similar. But you'll know that the orange and um, because they're twisted together. The orange, white, orange is usually twisted together. And the brown, white, brown is usually twisted together. So you know how to sep you know, separate those. So once you do that, orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown. And you want to trim it because you want to make sure it's flush. So trim it just ever so slightly, like that. See how I did that? I don't do this often. That's why I'm not really like 100% fast at it yet. I'm not like fluent or uh, fluid. And then, oh, tab side down. See, I almost screwed up. 
And then while you slide it in like that, I don't know if you can see that. And you slide it in, double check your work. Orange, right, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown. Like that, and just slide it in. And then you see the white sleeve. You want it, the white sleeve to pass this part where my pinky nail is. Because that's where it's gonna be clamped onto the white sleeve, not the interior wires. Well, it's like it's gonna be a service call later. Push in, pinch, wiggle it in like that, because you want all of them flush at the end. All right, and double, just double check your work. And once you do that, you want to put it in this slot like that, and squeeze. And see how it's clamped onto the white sleeve? That's good. Now we're gonna test it. We'll just go ahead and plug it in there. And then this comes out like right there. So let me show you. And that part goes into here. And then hit test on. And it passed. That's it. And this cable is not shielded. So that's, of course, is gonna be opened. A shielded cable just uh, blocks the outside interference. And uh, this usually has aluminum foil inside the cable blocking out interference. All right. So that's how you do it. Post, comment, subscribe. I have other videos to show you how to do things. Thanks for watching.